What? Because although I knew, I was fucking shocked. Could not believe it. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. We crunk lit any bitch. Yeah. back to my channel or welcome to my channel i am deja Hello! disclaimer natural lighting is going on and it was just really really sunny and i guess now it's about to start raining my bad i'll try to fix it while i'm editing if it happens so yeah y'all today is story time story time story time if this is your first time seeing my face Hello. Make sure you hit that subscribe button before you leave. And if you guys do like story times, make sure you give this video a like because like YouTube algorithm, I don't know what the hell is going on. Make sure you like the video so you know, it get out there and y'all can see it. I'm gonna try to start pushing out a lot more stories for you guys. Shit in my life has been crazy. Although they, they're probably won't be back to back to back story times because it's just like, uh, my memory is very bad so when stuff happens it reminds me so like this video something happened and it just triggered this memory and i'm like damn that happened so i'm gonna just stop talking and just get straight into it okay this is the time how we found out this man who you would never ever expect was dl and you don't know what dl means is down low he was a little bit gay he had his little foot over there on outside we're just gonna sit here and talk about it it was crazy like it was crazy Raising you guys, so look, boom, let me paint the picture for y'all. Three of us involved in this story, and like I said, I'm not gonna try to give off too much, but there's a lot of backstory in history. I'll knit and pick, but like, this was like a, it don't even matter. We're gonna call the girl Stacy, and we're gonna call the dude, oh dude, <laughs> because he doesn't really need the name. A little backstory, I was like introduced to this man's because like, him and Stacy knew each other before me and Stacy knew each other. Uh, really though? No, I'm lying. We weren't as close. Me and Stacy weren't as close back then. So her and the dude knew each other. They worked together, blah, 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 right? That's how they start intertwining and mingling. So she would bring up Odu here and there, like just throw him into conversations when we're talking and blah, 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 right? At this point, when she's talking to me about this man, I have never seen a picture. I just know his name. Really didn't know too much about him. Although she was just kind of explaining like he a little hood baby or whatever. So I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Blah, blah, blah. The time ro rolls around to me meeting no dude. We all hung out for the first time at this Airbnb. Comes over, I got me and little man's there or whatever. So this is gonna be me and my little man's first time meeting no dude also. Um, I've been telling him about old dude here and there. Like kind of like just getting him up to date on who's coming over. So I'm just like explaining to him the stuff I know. We both haven't met Odu yet. So Odu come in the house. I'm like, oh, what's up? Blah, blah, blah. This man, 6'3", built, older dude. He had a little hood tendency to him. Um, and I'm like, oh, okay, Stacey, I see you. Whatever. Not my type. But I see you. Got some drinks, played games, blah, 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 blah. First red flag I see in this man is Odu is like, like an overly sexual person, right? Me, I don't take that to, oh, he probably gay, but like it just kind of makes my little radar go off a little bit because it's like, you don't have to be that sexual. Like nobody else is that sexual in the little group. I mean, at least saying it out loud, you know? So it's like, you don't really have to do the most. Kind of like the first like ding, 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 ding for me. Second, ding, 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 ding. Um, me personally, I know what it's like for um, an African-American male to grow up in an all-female household. Um, you know, they kind of tend to have a little like feminist tendency. I can see that you're not gay, but just because you were raised in a household with all women, you kind of pick up on a little one of these and one of these and you know, it's like, oh, okay, characteristics. I seen some of the little stuff going around in this and that and my little man's had brought it up to me after the fact when like him and Stacy went their own way and we kind of went our own way. He was asking me like, is he gay? I was like, oh no, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Because it was just some of the stuff that old dude was doing while we were playing games and just stuff that would come out of his mouth. That's like two red flags and I had to ask the dudes. I was like, um, were you raised like around all women? So he was like, oh yeah, la, 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 la. So he was raising all women and all this and all that, right? So I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, it makes sense why I'm seeing a little of this and a little of this going on and one of these. So, um, cause you big ass man should not be doing this. <laughs> so yeah, that was that night. That was like our first initial interaction with each other. He was a really cool man, I would say. He's a really cool man. That's why I kind of took it lightly and I really 
didn't like emphasize that I thought this man might have been a little DL or he had a little sugar in his tank because the type of man he was like he was really really cool um he was like a husband material for Stacy ass like he would do any and everything for this girl like he loved this girl to death and I'm just like damn that's your man your man your man but your man, your man, your man might be a little sweet, 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 sweet. Let's fast forward into like where everything kind of hit the fan. Stacy had went on a trip with this man, right? And I don't know what was taking place on the trip, what was happening. She told me that it was good, blah, blah, blah. One night comes around where Stacy FaceTimes me and she's in the closet crying. And I'm like, why the fuck are you in the closet? Like, what is going on? Girl, like, I don't know what it is making me feel insecure like I don't think he likes me and I'm like girl what are you talking about he loves you Stacy like dude loves you and I'm like why are you saying all this and she's like bro I'm sitting here butt ass naked we're kissing and stuff and the man don't want to touch me he not trying to do nothing he not trying to feel nothing nothing and I'm like what and then he's she's like I he won't even let me do nothing to him I'm trying, you know, we're lit, I'm trying, I want to, I like this man, this is my man, my man, my man. And I'm like, Stacy, he gay. And she's like, no, he not. I'm like, girl, you were butt ass naked on this man's chest. He didn't try to slip a little feel, touch a little do, lick a little look. He gay. And she like, <laughs> she's like, I don't think so. I'm like, Stacy. He's gay like any other man in their right mind. If he if he likes you that much and he's kissing you and doing all this, but he don't wanna you, he might be a little gay. I ain't even gonna lie. He gay. I we ain't even gotta talk about it no more, Stacey. He's gay. She did not want to hear me. She did not want to believe me. And I don't know if it's because she was drunk, but she was like, no, he's not, Deja. No, he's not, Deja. In a closet crying. I'm like, girl, he got you in the closet crying. He's gay. He is gay. And she's like, no, he's not. I'm like, whatever, girl. I'll put your clothes back on. I don't know what to tell you. Maybe I was like, okay, if he's not gay, he is. If he's not, then maybe shy or insecure. Like, you know when men, well, I don't know, my friends and my cousins and stuff tell me if they are put in a situation where they're like really, really like this girl, they don't want to mess anything up or do nothing, it's kind of hard for them to get a little hard or like, it's just so many emotions that it's kind of like, damn, I can't focus on that right now. So I'm like, maybe that's what's going on. He like likes you too much. I'm like, I guess maybe it's this. Trying to make her feel better. And I'm like, girl, it has nothing to do with you. Like you are beautiful inside and out, honey. It has nothing to do with you, Stacy. He gay. She comes home and she like more in depth tells me what's going on when we're talking and stuff. And I'm like, Stacy. Believe it or not, I think he's gay. And she was like, I don't think so. Like he's like, you would never expect it. But I'm like, girl, I have male gay friends and they literally be telling me all the stories about all these hood ass DL men. And I'm like, it's the ones that you would never expect it. And then I'm taking her back to the time when I first met him and he was doing all of this and all of this. And even my little man said he might have a little sugar in his tank. So I'm just bringing up all these observations I done had of dude, right? She just so oblivious to what going on I'm like poor Stacy but I'm trying to be a good friend and be there for her so I'm just trying to tell her my opinion and I'm like hey if you want to mess with dude mess with dude ask the man because one thing about this man what I really 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 respected him on is he was not a liar like that man is not gonna lie to you he gonna hurt your feelings he's really blunt but he would not lie. He holds himself up to that because he will tell you, like, I'm not a liar. Anything you ask for me, I'ma tell you. If I was messing with her, I'ma tell you. My bad, baby, I messed up, but I was. So I told her, like, you know what, just ask him. And I was like, but Stacy, listen, when you ask a black male this, know for a fact that if they're not out, it's because they feel some type of way within themselves, whether it's they don't want to disappoint their family, whether they don't want to believe it themselves, because you know, in our culture, it's very much so like shamed upon, like that is not how a black male is supposed to be. So I'm like, it's either he don't believe it himself, I say it because he don't want to believe it, or he just doesn't want to like, have that impact on his family. So I'm like, Stacy, just ask him. And she's like, I don't want to ask him that. And I'm like, girl, if you have a feeling in the inkling, I got the inkling. She ain't got it, but I want to give it to you. So I'm telling you this, ask 
the man. He gonna tell you, he gonna tell you. If he buy, he buy. If he gay, he gay. He will let you know. Ask him, Stacy, cause I wanna know. Come, she don't wanna ask this man. Boom, fast forward. Probably like after this trip happened, this was probably like two, three months later, right? I'm chilling in my bed. <laughs> Day like yesterday. I'm chilling in my bed on my phone. I don't know what I was on. Probably on Snapchat. Snapchat used to be big as hell back then. So probably on Snapchat. And I get a phone call from Stacey. <sighs> this girl is livid. Like she, oh, before. Okay. So let me rewind. Let me rewind. Let me rewind. My bad. Sorry. Let me rewind. It was one instance that we went, me and Stacey went to go get tattoos. And she's like a very open person, so she was talking to the tattoo man. And she was like, from your perspective, from a male perspective, what do you think is going on? And she's telling him the story. The tattoo guy looked dead at her and said, oh, baby, he gay. I said, duh, that's what I said, Stacey. And she don't want to believe nobody. And he was like, you was butt-ass naked and that man didn't do nothing. She was like, he didn't do nothing. The tattoo guy looked her dead in her soul and said, baby, he gay. I said, he's gay, bro. And then she showed the man a picture of the man, and he was like, oh, damn. Because he like this hood ass looking nigga. He gay. Anyways, fast forward to what I'm talking about now, okay? So, like I said, I was laying in my bed, probably on Snapchat, and I get a, a call from Stacy. Stacy is livid, mad, crying, screaming, upset, right? And I'm like, what is going on? So she had told me this man was coming over to her house. And I'm thinking that they're having a great old time. Your little man is at your house. Ooh, your husband. So when I get this call, I'm like, what is going on? Like, what is happening? She, she's like, she's like, Tasha, you were right. This man is fucking gay. And I'm like, what? What? Because although I knew, I was fucking shocked. Could not believe it. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it, but I knew, but I just couldn't believe that it was actually, like I was actually right, that this is true, this man is gay. She's telling me that she went through this man's phone, right? Went through his phone. She said, I don't know what made me, but I just had an intuition. I was like, that woman intuition is true. Listen to your intuition because it will tell you everything you need to know, y'all. Oh my God, my intuition. Be telling me stuff and I don't even want to hear the stuff and it'd be like, listen. And I'd be like, all right, I'm gonna listen. Then I get my feelings hurt. But anyways, so she's like, I don't even know what, what I was thinking, but I went through his phone. She was like, I went through his phone and I didn't find anything between him and a female. So I was like, okay, cool. But then she was like, his one homie, which is like just somebody named, she was like, she knows of this person, right? We're gonna call his friend Bryce. She knows his friend group. Bryce is part of a friend. Also a black male that you would not expect. So she never got a little mm in her ear because she knew what Bryce looked like. She said Bryce kept just texting this man. Turns out Bryce was old dude's roommate, like, Cousin or best friend? One of the two, I don't know, this was a long ass time ago. His roommate is a male also. That was his best friend. So she told me Bryce kept texting the phone as she's looking through it and she just, you know, like dismisses the notification, dismisses the notification. And then she was like, something inside of her said, go look through their messages. And him and Bryce are in the conversation arguing with each other. And they're arguing because Bryce Stop sharing his location with old dude, and that triggered old dude. So they was arguing back and forth. And then Bryce brings up Stacy, and he like, you always with her, why are you talking to this girl, and da, da da So she's like, she's reading these messages, and Bryce is sounding very feminine, okay? So she's like, I don't even know if it's really a dude, da da, da, da. and I'm like, girl, I don't know. So I don't know how she found out that it was actually Bryce, and you know, like he didn't just put Bryce's name on a contact, um, but it was definitely Bryce. <laughs> Definitely Bryce. So they're sitting there arguing about the location. And she's telling me like, Deja, am I tripping? Or like, you only argue with your nigga about locations. And I'm like, yeah, why as a male, you arguing with your homeboy cause your homeboy turned off his location. Like that don't make no sense. It's giving him and his homeboy be playing with swords together. That's crazy. So she's like sending me screenshots and, blah, 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 and I'm like going over them and I'm like, girl, yeah, he's definitely messing with Bryce. 
That is definitely his man. I was like, girl, ask him. Like, you over here crying and panicking and sick to your stomach. Ask this man, because he gonna tell you the truth. So she wakes him up and she's asking him, like, who is this? Da -da -da. He told her, like, yeah, this Bryce. Blah, blah, blah. Um, and then she asks him, like, are you gay? He's like, no, I'm not gay. Oh, y'all, listen to this. Listen to this. Listen to this. Because this is what made this man really gay. Like, really gay. So she asks him, like, are you gay? And he's like, no, he's not gay. He likes women. He wants to marry Stacy. Like, he loves women. He wants to be with women. But he's emotionally, physically attracted to only Bryce. That's the only male, right? That is so gay. Do you know how people say there's always somebody out there that you're gay for? That makes you really gay in my opinion. Like, you're not gay. You don't like men. But you like this man, and you're only gay for that man. You are gay, sweetheart, and it's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> but you like that male. So, turns out, technically, Stacy was a side chick. Uh, <laughs> technically, Stacy was the side chick. And we kind of like laughed about the whole situation after the fact. That's why I could tell y'all this story because this was so long ago. But like, Stacy was very much still the side chick because like he damn near lived with Bryce and the other roommate. Like Bryce would see him all the time. They would be together all the time. Who knows what they was doing all the time. I don't know, it was a lot that happened, but Stacy was very much so the side chick in that relationship. After all that happened, um, you know, kind of Stacy kind of backtracked away from old dude. And then, you know, she allowed him to come back into her life. Uh, I don't know what type of relationship they had after that, but um, overall they've never had sex. Like. And I was like, that was kind of God protecting you because who knows what that man had, to be honest. But um, yeah, they never once had sex and they talked to each other for quite a long time. This shit blew my mind, <laughs> okay? It was just, it never seemed to amaze me. So, but it's crazy though because after I met a dude and all this transpired and stuff like that, he made me put nothing past anybody, okay? Like I will not put anything past a person ever because this man is somebody that you will look at and not even question his sexuality like but then be the ones then them be the ones but you would not even like no although you know i seen the little tendencies and all this and all that and even little mans that i was messing with was like is he i feel like that was only because we was like drunk and he kind of got a little comfortable too fast because we've been out with him on other occasions you wouldn't even look at this man and tell like he didn't carry himself like that so it was just a lot, <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the story. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you had anything like this ever happen to you, comment below and let me hear or let me know how you found out your little man's was DL. Oh, it's crazy, but yeah. If you enjoyed the story, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you made it this far and you're not yet subscribed, what? Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Follow me on all my other social media accounts. They are down below. And on that note, bye! Bye!